In the first part of the Boeing 777 APU series, we fired up the gas turbine engine. Currently, the aircraft has limited electrical power from the batteries, pneumatic power is unavailable, no external power source is connected, and the APU engine is running at full speed. The APU supplies electric and pneumatic power to operate the aircraft systems. Let's start with the electrical source, the AC generator. The generator converts mechanical energy into electrical energy and has three major components. The main generator, the exciter, and the permanent magnet generator. Each part consists of a stator and a rotor. The permanent magnet rotor creates a magnetic field. As the rotor shaft is driven by the gearbox, it results in a rotating magnetic field. The field is cut by the stator windings, and due to electromagnetic induction, alternating electrical power is generated. The permanent magnet generator current is fed to the APU generator control unit. The generator control unit acts as a voltage regulator and a rectifier. The alternating current is converted into regulated direct current and transferred to the exciter. The power applied to the exciter stator winding develops a stationary magnetic field. The exciter rotor cuts through this field and produces alternating current. The exciter current is passed through a rotating rectifier. The rectifier converts AC to DC and feeds it to the main rotor. The generator control unit adjusts the exciter current and varies the field strength of the main rotor to regulate the output voltage. The rotating field is cut by the main stator and a three-phase alternating current is generated. The generator output reaches the auxiliary power panel, part of the electrical load management system. When the APU generator switch is selected, the generator control unit closes the contactor inside the panel and the power is available for distribution. The load management system uses the generator power to activate the AC buses. To establish complete DC power, the generator output is fed to the transformer rectifier units. The TRUs convert the power and activate the DC buses. The aircraft has two main electrical distribution channels. With only the APU generator available, the load management system will use its power to activate both channels. A single generator cannot meet the entire electrical demand of the aircraft. Therefore, the load management system sheds non-essential loads when necessary. To establish complete power, the electrical system needs one of the main engines. And to start the main engine, we require pneumatic power. The pneumatic system of the aircraft is controlled by a computer called the Air Supply Cabin Pressure Controller. But before starting the main engines, let's understand how the APU provides the bleed air. The APU bleed is controlled by the APU controller. The controller uses the fuel pressure to control the APU bleed output. Pressurized fuel from the pump operates an actuator. The actuator movement rotates a ring gear. Connected to the ring gear are sector gears. Each sector gear has an inlet guide vane attachment. The ring gear rotation turns the sector gears and adjusts the angle of the inlet guide vanes. The inlet guide vanes control the amount of airflow that enters the load compressor section. During the APU start procedure, the controller maintains the guide vanes near the closed position and the airflow to the load compressor is kept to a minimum. When the APU reaches its full operating speed, the controller starts to open the guide vanes to meet the pneumatic demands of the aircraft. The centrifugal load compressor sends pressurized bleed air to the aircraft systems. The bleed air passes through a check valve and then towards the APU shutoff valve. The APU bleed is distributed to various user systems through the pneumatic ducts and is controlled by the air supply computer. The air supply computer automatically controls the APU shutoff and the isolation valves. 
When the APU bleed switch is set to auto, the computer opens the APU shutoff valve and the isolation valves to pressurize the pneumatic ducts. The APU bleed is primarily used to operate the air conditioning system and to start the main engines. If a left engine start command is given when the air conditioning packs are running, the air supply computer stops the air conditioning system to meet the pneumatic demand of the engine air starter. Once the left engine is up and running, engine bleed is available. The computer will close the APU shutoff valve, open the left engine bleed valve to pressurize the ducts, and operate the air conditioning system. The left engine generator, driven by the accessory gearbox, starts supplying electrical power. The load management system uses the left engine generator to power the left electrical buses, and the APU generator will continue to power the right buses. Since two generator sources are available, the non-essential buses are activated. When the right engine start switch is selected, the air supply computer will again stop the air conditioning packs and close the left isolation valve. The APU shutoff valve is commanded to open, and the bleed air from the APU reaches the right engine starter. Once the right engine power is available and the bleed switch is selected, the computer will close the APU shutoff valve. Then the isolation valves are configured to allow the left engine bleed to power the left air conditioning pack, and the right engine bleed is selected to power the right air conditioning pack. As the right engine generator starts supplying electrical power, the load management system will connect the engine generator supply to the right electrical buses and disconnect the APU generator. The two main engines are running, and all aircraft power is established. The APU ground operation task is complete. Join us in the next part of the series as we continue to explore the APU engine and its in-flight performance. Thanks for watching.